Here I stand, uncovering my wounds like treasure hidden under salt, feeling the most at home and unrooted by coastlines. But it's a new day, and I remember when the rain fell hard and it felt like perpetual night. Grateful, there is an ocean to welcome my tears and arms to stretch out to hold my body and sea glass to remind me that broken things can be smoothed beautiful too. After the storm, the heavy cover of fog, the lingering haze of forgetfulness, calling out to someone to be my reflection. Hey everyone, I'm Destiny Polk. I am a all around creative spirit, lifelong dancer, poet, instructor, and producer of live performance, workshops, and film. From a young age, I've used art as a way to process my emotions, to inspect my own beliefs, and to make sense of the world around me. In honor of this year's Ocean Awareness Contest, I'd like to share my water poem with you. She is the first sign of life, the essential component to all growth, often over manipulated and underappreciated, shifting and turning, expanding and contracting, all for our benefit and for what thanks. She does not dance under moonlight for vanity's sake, but to remind darkness of its own magic. She, like darkness, covers all without prejudice, can turn the smallest seed of potential into a bleeding fruit, can carry a continent like an uprooted tree scattering its limbs across the earth's face. Her face is the most familiar. Some call her mama, water, glamour of her essence makes time hold its own breath. She does not beg to be loved, nor does she yearn for company. She is full on her own. Artistic expression can be a tool for self-healing, for education, storytelling, unity, and protest, among many other things. You talked about hip hop being medicine. In your mind, you're creating this space for people to come and have healing. Cause that, yes. that's dope. Yes. I like that. Thank oh my you. God. Over 20 performers from Boston nice. performed. We had breakout dance sessions that weren't planned because you invite dancers, they're gonna dance. Yeah. Um, so it was, and over a hundred people came. You gotta know what you are in this world. You know what I'm saying? Where you stand and you just gotta take it and do what you gotta do because what you put into this world is what basically um, is gonna come back to you. Art is that connective tissue that brings people together. It, it's also the catalyst for internal and tangible change. Since I've been surrounded by art my whole life, I've seen how it's really changed the trajectory of my life and allowed me to create a platform for others to share their work and be paid for their work, which is why I'm super honored to be a judge for this year's Ocean Awareness Contest. This year, over $15,000 in scholarships given out to student artists who identify as Black, Indigenous, or Latinx. This is huge. When I was in high school, I wish I had an opportunity like this. So any type
type of art, whether that is visual art, dance, music, film, multimedia, we're accepting all forms of your water story. And each ind individual student uh, can win up to $1,500. So I just want to urge you to think of any young person, any young creative artist that you know who would be great for this prize. Um, we want young people to use their voice for things that are important to them. And we want young people to know that their art makes a difference. So once again, if you know any young artists from the ages of 11 to 18, please share this with them. Um, give them this opportunity for them to share their work with the world and to create work about something that matters to them. Thanks so much. I appreciate y'all. Peace.